Lesson 10 Homework Estimate the product, solve using an area model and the standard algorithm. Remember to express your products in standard form. So 53 times 1 and 2 tenths. It wants us to estimate first. So I'm going to round 53 to 50. And 1 and 2 tenths to 1. So 50 times 1 is 50. So our answer should be around 50. Now I'll do the area model. So we are going to turn 1 and 2 tenths into 12 tenths like we were doing previous in previous lessons. And that helps us to make 12 into a whole number so that then we can have 50 and 3 on our area model and 10 and 2. And we will change the 12 tenths back at the end. So 10 times 50 is 500. 10 times 3 is 30. 50 times 2 is 100. And 2 times 3 is 6. When we add all of that together, we get 636. But remember, that was tenths. So in order to change this back into a whole number, we need to divide by 10. So to divide by 10, remember we can start the decimal point at the end and move it over one place. So our answer is 63 and 6 tenths. Let's see if that's what we get when using the standard algorithm. So they went ahead and got rid of the decimal point and changed it into 12 tenths instead of 1 and 2 tenths. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, add a 0. We're done with the 3, on to the 5, 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 6, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Add it all together, and we get 636 tenths, but again, we need to change it back so that we have our whole number, so it's divided by 10, and we get 63 and 6 tenths. So part B, 2 and 1 tenth times 82. I'm going to round 2 and 1 tenth to 2, and 82 to 80. 2 times 80 is 160, and 2 and 1 tenth I'll change to 21 tenths. make our area model so we have 21 tenths times 82 20 times 80 is 1600 80 times 1 is 80 20 times 2 is 40 2 times 1 is 2 so we're going to add everything together Oop, i have an extra zero 80 plus 40 that's 120 plus 2. So we should get 1,722 tenths. But again, we need to divide by 10, so my decimal point is going to move one place back. We have 172 and 2 tenths, which is very close to our estimate. Let's make sure that's what we get with the standard algorithm. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Put our 0 down. Done with the 2. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Add everything together. We get the same thing. Again, we need to divide by 10. So our answer is going to be 172 and 2 tenths. Estimate, then use a standard algorithm to solve. Express your products in standard form. 4 and 2 tenths times 34. Around 4 and 2 tenths to 4. And 34 to 30. 4 times 30 is 120. So 42 times 34, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16. Put our 0 down, on to the 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12. Add everything together. We get 1,428, but that's in tenths, so I'm going to divide by 10, and our answer will be 142 and 8 tenths, which is pretty close to our estimate of 120. All right, 65 times 5 and 8 tenths. I'll round 65 to 70, and 5 and 8 tenths to 6. 70 times 6 would be 420. 
If we multiply, 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Put our 0 down. I'll erase what I carried. And on to the 6. 6 times 8 is 48, carry the 4. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. Add everything together. We get 3,770, but we need to divide by 10, so our decimal point's moving over one place, which just makes it 377, which is close to 420. Part C, 3 and 3 tenths times 16. I'll round 3 and 3 tenths to 3, and 16 to 20. 3 times 20 is 60. So 3 and 3 tenths, I'll round to, or I will change into 33 tenths times 16. 6 times 3 is 18, carry the 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Erase what I've carried, add a 0. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 3 is 3. Add everything together, 528, but remember we had 33 tenths, so we need to divide by 10, which will make our answer 52 and 8 tenths. Part D, 15 and 6 tenths times 17. Around 15 and 6 tenths to 15, and 17 to 20. And 15 times 20 is equal to 300. And now we're going to multiply. So we'll have 156 tenths times 17. 7 times 6 is 42, carry the 4. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 4 is 39. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Erase what I've carried. Put a 0 down, done with the 7. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. Add it together. 9 plus 6 is 15, carry the 1. So we get 2,652, but it was tenths, so I'm moving the decimal point over one spot to the left, so we get 265 and 2 tenths. Part E, 73 times 2 and 4 tenths. 73, I'll round to 70. 2 and 4 tenths, I'll round to 2. 70 times 2 is 140. And if I do 73 times 24 tenths, I will get 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1 is 29. Get rid of what I've carried. Let's erase it. We're done with the 4, onto the 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 7 is 14. Add everything together. We get 1,752, but it was tenths, so I'll divide by 10, and I have 175 and 2 tenths. Okay, 193 and 5 tenths times 57, around 193 and 5 tenths to 200, and 57 to 60. 200 times 60 is 12,000. Now if I multiply, I'll have 1,950, nope, I'll have 1,935 tenths times 57. Starting with the 7, 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3, 24. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 2 is 65. And 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. Now I'm going to erase what I've carried. And on to the 5. The 5 is in the tens place, so I'll put a 0 down. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 1 is 46. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. Add everything together. 
and we get 110,295. But we had, this was in the tenths place, so we need to divide by 10, which is going to make it 11,029 and 5 tenths, which is pretty close to our estimate, which was 12,000. Mr. Jansen is building an ice rink in his backyard that will measure 8 and 4 tenths meters by 22 meters. What is the area of the rink? Remember, area is length times width. So if we have 8 and 4 tenths meters by 22 meters, we're going to have 84 eight, tenths times 22. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Put our 0 down. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8, 16. Add together. So we have 1,848, but we need to divide by 10, so our decimal point is going to move one place to the left, and that would be meters squared, 184 and 8 tenths meters squared. Rachel runs 3 and 2 tenths miles each weekday and 1 and 5 tenths miles each day of the weekend. How many miles will she have run in 6 weeks? Okay, so three and two tenths miles each weekday. So that is five days a week, Monday through Friday. And one and five tenths miles each day of the weekend. So that's two days. How many miles will she have run in six weeks? So in six weeks, there's multiple ways to do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do six weeks times five days. So that would be 30 days. So she's running... 3 and 2 tenths miles for 30 days, and she's running 1 and 5 tenths miles for 6 weeks times 2 days would be 12 days. And I'm just going to multiply. 0 times 2 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, I'll put my 0 down, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so I have 960 tenths, but remember I didn't use the decimal point. So if I move my decimal point over one place, this is 96 miles on the weekdays. Let's find the weekends. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Put our 0 down, erase what I've carried. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 180 tenths, but I need to divide by 10, so I really have 18 miles, and if I add those together, 96 plus 18, 6 plus 8 is 14, carry the 1, 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so she is running 114 miles in 6 weeks.